What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to be recording the video that is like two weeks old from the community channel about who your spirit guides and a message from them to you. Um, so there's going to be four different piles. Um, so the first pile is the moon deck. Second pile is fire. Third is forest. And the fourth is the ink pot. So choose one with your intuition or blah, blah, blah. And we will get into the piles and see what they have to say. All right, pile one. In pile one, especially if you're dealing or are a Gemini, Leo, Pisces, or a Libra, who are your spirit guides and a message from them? Well, I can tell you off top that two of them are... Um, they're separate ones. The one of them is from the fifth ray of consciousness and the one of them is from the sixth ray of consciousness. So the fifth ray deals with the throat chakra, um, those, you know, the conflict, feeling defeated, um, left out. Um, sometimes it talks about emotional loss or just emotional um, pain that you could be going through. Also, um, someone that could be watching, you may have some heart issues and um, there might be something to get looked at because you know with the moon card, this is something you don't know about as well as your throat. Um, some of you guys need to be careful on stairs as well or maybe that's where, I just feel like someone was in a place where they were I don't know if you fell down the stairs or if you were walking down the stairs or you could be been drunk or something. Your spirit guide was with you and um, it speaks to you, I think, through um, probably like ideas. I think a lot of people think that it's like actual like voices, like schizophrenia, and I wouldn't go that far. I would say that it's more ideas or things that are shown or like music that's played for some people, it's just different for each one. Um, some of you guys, uh, this person has been with you probably in more than one lifetime, um, probably six lifetimes. Uh, I see quite a few sixes. I feel like this person, um, they care a lot about you and it could be someone that you've lost. We're not gonna rule out um, you know, loved ones that have passed on. Um, this could have been a, I don't want to say father figure because this person's kind of younger looking, um, shorter hair. And um, you guys have a lot of history here, whether it's romantic, whether it's just you went through a lot of shit with this person. And um, some of you guys, you could have fought with this person or you still kind of fight them about certain things. Um, but this person just really doesn't want to lose you or vice versa. They want to teach you, you know, the more effort that you put into things and the more you're able to control your emotions and speak your truth, the more things will kind of go in your favor because a lot of you guys um, in this pile dwell on certain things um, and you're not really able to find the solution. And therein you kind of can't find that balance and you can't find that harmony in your life at times. I'm not going to say all the time. Um, this spirit guide, it talks to you or communicates to you in your dreams and in your mind. Um, this is a, a friend of yours and someone, but that someone that wants to take care of you or they do take care of you. And, um, they want you to work on your communication skills or work on speaking your truth and your emotions so that you can, um, they want to encourage you to, you know, take care of yourself and um, kind of be successful, be the person that they believe you can be. 
um, no matter what you've been through. And, um, you know, some of you guys have like a genetic code in your DNA that is like, um, I don't want to say rich blood, but it could be like royal blood or like it's just a, it's in your family, like basically like it's already yours. So just being aware of that when you're trying to manifest that, you know, it's a divine birthright or whatever, the, whatever you say. Um, the other, the other one I'm kind of seeing as more of a younger, um, woman. She's got dark, long brown hair. Um, she smiles a lot. I think that, um, this person like, I don't know, it looks, kind of feels like she's got some feelings or she did. Maybe you had a past life with this person where you were with this, with them. Um, I feel like, you know, our guides and ancestors aren't just made up of certain things. I feel like it could be a combination. And I think I want to believe that the souls that, you know, maybe haven't reincarnated or whatever. I feel like they're always still kind of their essence is still around you. So I feel like this person, um, she's like sitting back and she's smiling like she's like waiting for a show to begin she's like you know um she wants you to go after your dreams and and use your abilities and your passion and have this um, material prosperity but don't forget the spiritual aspect of this as well whether or not you want to listen to it or or do more research or you know maybe try to crack the code of um, a lot of esoteric knowledge that has been uh, misinterpreted, hidden, destroyed. It's kind of a, a fuck ton. It's kind of a mess. But as you go along, you'll notice that you'll be more things will be revealed to you. And I don't think we ever stop learning. And I think that they want you to know that your image that you, like you're a public image for some of you guys, um, they... They want you to have a partner, whether or not that's male or female, we'll just leave gender out of it. But they want you to understand that having, you know, more than one perspective um, and staying grounded in that energy and, you know, not only recognizing that this person is your partner, but um, thinking of them when you're making decisions, because I feel like someone is so used to doing things alone that they're like impulsive. They're like, well, shit, you know, squirrel. And then they'll, they'll go after it. But it's like, then you have this situation here where, you know, maybe you don't communicate with this person about certain things because you don't feel like you have to or whatever. I just think that the patients, they're saying, um, you know, patience is needed and to not get mad and overreact about certain things. Um, that it's okay to travel and it's encouraged, especially to get your name out there, especially to, to build your confidence, no matter where it is, you know, don't stay in one small place and be miserable. Um, you guys, uh, I don't know if you were this person's father in a past life or what they're trying to tell me something about a, a father, um, something to do with a Leo, but I just feel like you were someone who was never, um, someone who stayed in your house all the time or didn't have confidence in yourself or um, didn't know where you came from or didn't know how to get things. But it's just like you are having to relearn because, you know, when you're reincarnated, your mind is, your memory is wiped basically. And um, they just want you to, to stay grounded in one place so that you can ground your energy and kind of like pay attention um, to the things around you and let things grow like love and not have expectations and release those expectations so that um, you're not disappointed for one and two, you're open to um, more than one solution or more than one thing. It could be better than you had wanted it to be. Like, I feel like it's control. It's something where um, because you've had been defeated in the past, because you've been through so much, you have a, this sense of control on certain things in your life, and you're so afraid to let that go because you don't know what the outcome is, but the outcome is actually a lot better than what you are doing right now. And um, 
it's time to put an end to, you know, not forgiving yourself for certain things or if not forgiving for other people, you know, using your compassion. Some of you guys are fixed signs. I know what that's like. You know, we have a pretty standard way of doing things. But if you were to really think about it and you're really to have a, like an open-ended conversation with no screaming and yelling and no, you know, not listening to the other person, if that communication line was open, you could move mountains and... I just feel like it's going to take some, you know, self-discipline to get you out of, you're in a certain place right now because they want you to use those gifts that you have that you, it's like you're going in blind kind of, because it's a different way of doing things. It's not the old way of doing things because things have to be left in the past or you're going to continue to repeat the same thing or manifest that in if we're so fixated on Things that, let's face it, are kind of over because we're afraid to try something new or there's old memories of someone who did things. And it's, I mean, I've, I've done it too. I think I still, you know, I don't want to say I hold it against people, but it's just like we have these assumptions off top about people because of what we've been through. But that doesn't mean that there aren't people out there that are different than what you believe in your subconscious or what you, you know who these other people were and the more you can believe that and tell yourself that the more different people could come into your life and show you that you know show and prove and it's not just talking it's actions you know not everyone is going to be like the person you don't want but if you fix it on them then that's what you're going to have um this person is very protective of you. This person is really demanding. They demand your attention and they're like a hummingbird. Like they probably annoy you. Like they do things where like it's noises and sounds. You probably hear it in your ear, like inner ear. Like they don't leave you alone until you pay attention. This person is also a fixed energy, Jakes. But at the same time, they're very, they have like a, a funny personality. Like they're funny and they're really patient and they're very loyal to you like hands down but they're also very protective and it like makes them really intense but they're like a brutal honest person in your corner um a really good friend of yours where um for some of you it could have been a sibling I'm not, I don't know this lifetime that lifetime but that's kind of the energy I'm picking up on like you know um like a an older brother kind of or um you know someone that you're able to talk to about certain things or you have that bond with them um and this person has followed you through everything. Um, the falcon is being highlighted. So I'm not sure if you see falcons or if that's just what you need to understand about this certain guide is that they are able to see things that you can't see. But they're also very wise and um, they have a vision and they are also very protective, you know, and they're able to see. But then at the same time, because of duality, they have the dove energy. Um, where it's very gentle, very peaceful, very compassionate, and they want you to embrace that other side of yourself that maybe we have, you know, subconsciously locked up because, you know, um, I feel like a lot of us feel like good people are taken for granted. And I'm not going to say that I didn't share the same belief, but I don't really try to dwell on it because I don't want the same thing to happen. But I just think that after a while we stop doing things and stop being who we truly are because of what we've been through. But we have to understand everything is a dual thing. There's more than one perspective. There's more than one side of us where it's okay to adapt and um, ping pong around and, and use those different personality traits but just accepting them as a part of you, even though so-and-so, when you were five or six years old, you know, um, that's a really crucial time for when your brain develops. So this could be something where um, they kind of fucked you up because that's, a, that's basically when your brain is developed as a child. So whatever you went through at that time fucks you up. And so we don't really realize we're still holding on to that. But then if you stop and think, you know, what kind of things have continuously happened to us? Um, what kind of thoughts and emotions do we still have? Um, what is still kind of holding us back, even though we really want to move forward? You know, um, those things that we are impulsively doing isn't really helping you get through the transition that you need to go through to get to where you want to go. And it's not a clear-cut path like they're basically you know you're in your co-pilot you're 
in co-pilot, you know, but they're not really telling you where to go kind of thing. Like they're there for guidance and protection, but it's just like, they're not going to, um, tell you what to do all the time because they want you to start using those gifts of your own and, and make these changes and go off and do something you normally wouldn't have done because you never know where that could bring you. And you genuinely don't know because I just think that some of you guys are trying so hard to have balance and harmony in your life, but you're not really taking that chance to do anything new. You're going after what looks good, but, you know, are you brave enough to go after something that you desire besides something for the moment, you know, something to fill a void? Um, the woman energy is blue uh she represents temperance could be fire but i just feel like this is the little voice of reason that you have um the lobster and the clownfish are being highlighted um this person um has quite a bit of knowledge that they have accumulated over their lifetime they study the esoteric they um they were a teacher, they are a teacher, but they've been all around, so they have quite a bit of knowledge that they want to show you. Um, it says, we wish you well and happiness. And it says, you second guess your intuition and you are in your own way, but you're growing. And then she's, then they're saying butterfly. You have many talents, um, communication, you're, very, you're clairvoyant since you were a child. Um, it says, let your soul shine and heal you know that part of humanity um listening within um something to do with a school or a death or something like that uh flowers are here i don't know if there's a certain flower that represents this or if there's something along that line but i just feel like maybe that's the beauty of it maybe that's the um giving that time to grow and you know, pay attention to your dreams because some of the things in around you are an illusion and that's what's keeping you stuck because they don't want you to keep repeating. Maybe they're trying to help you. Um, but it really is about how you think about things, especially friendship, especially happiness, especially growth. Um, you have a divine plan for your life and it's going to surprise the shit out of you. But at the same time, like maybe you should go on that date instead of running from it or maybe not be so physical about things, you know, um, because your personal power and how you think and your characteristics don't come from anything physical. So, um, you have a third energy that's really quiet. They're not, um, it could be an angel. I feel like it's, that has that vibe, but it's, they don't have the same, um, it's like a sense of consciousness. They don't have like a picture, you know, um, this is just around you. This is something that, um, represents red energy, sun energy, but they're like, they could come in the form of a bear or a shark or a doe, but this could just could be their characteristics. So if I were you guys, I would Google these spirit animals. Um, they're saying that they speak to you clear audiently. They talk to you through like, um, music in your car. If you listen to the radio, um, they always show up when you're mad, like this person is ready to either fight with you or try to like, you know, get you out of certain situations. I think, um, they want you to, um, not overreact all the time, but I think that this person's like ride or die, like, you know, um, probably has fought for you, like, you know, that type of thing. It says, remember who you are and where you came from. Um, and don't let your pride and ego get in the way. It's time to practice some self-discipline and, and having patience. Um, it says, stop hiding who you are. Make clear decisions for your long-term goals for your life. And that you have star energy, so you could be star seed or you could just have that um, consciousness. Like, you know, where they say the day you were born, you can look up, like, what stars were. Like, you know, we all come from one, but I'm not going to go into that. Let's get the rest of these cards here. I really feel like some of you guys in this pile feel like love and commitment is prison. You feel like 
For the girls, you feel like you're gonna have to sit at home with a sewing machine and be prim and proper and you feel like that would be a prison for you. Like you wouldn't enjoy that. Like how many times can you redecorate the fucking living room, you know, and sit at your little, oh, shit, whoopsie, and sit at your little desk, you know, and, and talk on your little phone and do the whole little housewife thing. Um, some of you guys, I don't know if you um, have a mouse or you had like a gerbil or something, just that kind of energy around you. Um, I think that the the gist of this is that you have this connection or you did or this is still valid, but um, it's not easy for you to accept this. I feel like you block this out. This person blocks this out or you literally put yourself here because you feel safe in a closed area because maybe um, the last time you played the housewife, things didn't go that well in your experience. It fucked up your emotions or your emotions could have been messed up from the age of 12, some of you seven, um, some of you six. You know, I'm, I'm not throwing shade or anything. I'm just saying there's certain things that our subconscious holds on to and um, something, maybe someone actually did jail time when they were 29 or something like that. I just feel like, especially if you've been through things, you've been through so many things, you also have like a limitless potential to do whatever you want to do. You don't have to keep yourself in the social norms. You know, um, you can go out and talk to other people. You can stand in your power and, and show people your intelligence or, um, you know, solve the problems. It's all about communicating. It's about, you know, um, I would say stand up for yourself, but don't block people out, you know, go do something, but be adaptable. Some of you guys generally like maybe this person that you're with wants to move. Maybe there there's a problem in a relationship because someone wants to move away from a house. There's some kind of tie to maybe a childhood home even that you need to let go of or you need to heal within yourself because, um, it's not going to happen overnight, especially if there was some things that went down, you know. Um, but I just feel like your mental state at some t point when it comes to a house, maybe maybe the whatever house this was is the reason why you have these skewed views. Maybe you never really had a home or you didn't feel like, you know, the house that you were in was a home or something along those lines. Because she's always in these pictures, she's always outside the house. She's not in the house. So it's like you'll you'll dress up and you'll play pretend, but you don't really feel like this is where you belong. And that could have been because of how you grew up. Maybe some of you guys were, um, maybe you didn't have a father figure around or there wasn't someone who, you know, taught you how to be confident or taught you how to grow and, and do things, you know, so you're not really sure how to be that person or maybe this it could be vice versa you know maybe these people weren't around for for some of you maybe you're not really sure how to do this you feel this but you're not really sure like I feel like some of you guys are like it's not like it's irrelevant it's still here but you're not really talking about it you're like leaving it up to like fantasy and illusion instead of like nurturing it or or moving it forward but I think that what you just don't know is that things are going to be successful. I mean, you guys could have some kids. There, It is about self-love, but it's also about not being afraid to love, you know. And um, being creative when it comes to balancing, like, compromise, I feel like. Giving and receiving, like putting out there or doing the things for your partner that you would want them to do for you, you know, not just thinking about it. Um, some of you guys are very smart people. Um, you know maybe what makes you happy and someone doesn't or vice versa, but it's just about this communication, especially with this person. I feel like there's a level of inspiration here. Maybe you inspire the someone or you inspire people, but I think that it's just expanding on something that's already here for some of you guys. And I just feel like there's a decision that has to be made. I think there's going to be something that's going to be kind of like forced. Maybe you're going to have to move. Maybe some of you guys did have to move. So now you're like super defensive. But 
I wouldn't cancel this out. I mean, look how cute they are. And this is like, you've known this person since you were kids or you've known them a long time or um, this could have been something that's you're really familiar from with them because it was like more than one lifetime. But it's like a familiar to you. And so I feel like that's why you're not really doing anything about it because you're like, well, I know this is my person, but, you know, they're not going to go anywhere. But I just feel like... Life is really too short to, to live unhappy, and I think that it's time that all of us go out and do what makes us happy, whatever that looks like, you know? Because there's some things you don't know that's, you know, that are in the mix, and I think that it's, it's happening, but they just want you to maybe go to a different location or, you know... Uh, Think about something a little bit more. Um, some of you guys, you might have to take care of someone. But I just feel like it's saying be brave and express yourself and your abilities and use your gifts. Because that's what they're given to you for. And I mean, there are stories of people who lose them if they don't use them. So they say, so pile two, you had fire. A strong emotion, passion, love, or hate. So are we loving and hating? Are we on the fence about love and hate? Because there is a fine line, right? Oof, this is heavy. All right. So I feel like there's some things that this pile doesn't talk about. This is some pretty deep shit. Um, uh, I feel like they're... There was a divorce. There is a divorce. I see a death here. Someone who um, crossed over. Um, for some of you guys, it could have been someone who was really young. Maybe you lost a child. Or um, this is just something you don't talk about. And it could be because of something that happened. Uh, I do feel like some of you guys are dealing with... Um, you have a guide who is very wise and they're, it's just like, there's a really big age gap. Like this person is really older than you, but at the same time, um, they have like a childlike nature and, um, like they're right along with you. It even could be like this boar looking thing. I don't know, but I just feel like this person is who the person that goes with you wherever you go and they're trying to teach you, but in a different way. This could have been someone you lost, even. Um, there's something to do with... Uh, you're fighting kind of with your own destiny, with your own... Uh, like, which way is the, the wheel going to go kind of thing. But I feel like it's going to turn. You just have to stop fighting it, and you have to kind of go with the flow here. Um... I do see that there is some kind of decision that will be made when it comes to, I don't want to say when it comes to someone who died, but it could be, um, you know, something that just needs to be done and finalized as well. Um, I do feel like there is a relationship here um, that would be a stable relationship and then like uh, this money situation here, but... It's like they are guiding you, but they're not telling you what to do. They, they're they kind of like in the mix. I don't think that you have... I think you have um, guys that don't agree with each other. Like you could have like the little devil and the little angel type thing. Um, so they could like... You might have to be the mediator with them. Like that type of thing. Because one of them is really like... I think they're just down to rock. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like neither one of them is afraid of shit. But it's like... They want to be here for you because of whatever loss this is, whether it was a child or not. For some of you guys, I think it was. For some of you guys, there was maybe you lost a child to custody or this is something that happened to you as a child. So maybe they've been with you since you were three or four or seven or two or four. Um, but one represents the heart and one represents the crown. So very different energies. This one is kind of like, you know up in like <laughs> consciousness and this one is some deep rooted things like everything that you've been through and 
um, the reason that you are the way you are, the reason you communicate to people the way that you do. Um, they really want you to take more time to uh, meditate, yoga, go outside, especially in trees for some of you, because this energy has to go if you want things to move forward in your favor. Like there's n there's n a whole lot of stability here. Maybe you haven't had stability. Um, they want you to expand on your gifts. They want you to trust that you are, you know, you can line up your spirit and, you know, with your soul and like, you know, you can kind of line up everybody and get everybody on the same page. You know, you don't have to be in separate corners. You can take care of yourself as a whole. Um, because I feel like you're waiting, but you don't really understand why you're waiting. And that's because they're again with the duality. Maybe some of you guys are only accepting the one side of things and kind of like, well, okay, come on, you know. Uh, but at the same time, there's more you could do here. Um, yeah, this person is the, the elephant energy, a white elephant. So very wise, very old, very ancient, but very truthful, very... Um, they're a leader. They have a lot of wisdom. They're very strong. They have like this innocence and purity about them because of the white. So they come off really intimidating, but they're really friendly and gentle. Um, they have a lot of patience. Um, they're not afraid to do things on their own. Um, they want to help you process your emotions. They want you to have more faith in, in working on things, especially partnerships, whether it's friendships, whatever. Um, have more faith in people no matter what you've been through and to express yourself, especially um, in a social setting or about what you've been through and be sharing your story, but um, doing the meditation and, and letting them communicate with you because you have a lot of emotions that are kind of, you know, um, affecting certain things about your life that you don't remember. And I'm not going to go into that, but I just feel like um, sometimes we suppress things whether we don't know or we do, but there's a lot of grief and things that have been here and it kind of messed you up. It messed up your confidence. Maybe you don't have confidence in yourself or you don't have your power or like creativity because you maybe you didn't have a whole lot of direction. Maybe someone didn't talk to you or there wasn't, there was a lot of fighting, you know, but no one really um, knew how to communicate with you or vice versa like maybe you communicated different or the people in your life did and it was just like you never really felt like you were understood or that you knew what to do it was just like always like you never knew what was going to happen and um, you never had that like concrete knowledge where you were taught this thing like you know it was just different all the time and so maybe you communicate different maybe you're really connected you know but you forgot who you were because of the things you've been through. Um, so for the crown chakra, this is a, a black energy. It could be like a, um, a cat or a panther or something, but it's, a bit, it's, it's here for your protection. They're kind of like, they do their own thing, like they're a wanderer, but it's like they don't take their eyes off of you. Um, they're clear audience. It says a pig or a cat. Oh, there was a pig in that other picture, wasn't there? Oh, see, there's the pig. But um, they communicate, like, when they're communicating with you, like, when they when you're getting what they're saying, there'll be, like, um, really strong energy, and they give, like, goosebumps. Um, that's how you can discern that it's this person or this being. Um, you have psychic abilities, but you're not, you're, you haven't really balanced and it came to that duality within your own brain and yourself. Um this is a uh, money, income, assets. There's cause and effect. They're trying to get you to see that, you know, everything is, every action has a reaction. And you have a family lineage, family lineage here where you might have who have cleared that karmic or ancestral debt. And it's taking a little while, but I don't feel like you're going to be stuck here forever. Like, you know, fuck. <laughs> but I just think that there's something here that needs to be learned. And it's just accepting the other side of things, another point of view, um, transitioning into another thing. Like, you know, a snake loses its skin or like a hermit crab goes or crabs go to a different. It's like you're growing, but you have to accept that, you know, things that you're not the same person you used to be and that you're changing and that you can't really go back to that anymore or you're just going to continue to wait and do the same thing. Um, 
They don't want you to repeat old patterns. They want you to stay vigilant and aware. They got your back, but don't keep doing the same shit. Like, you're good. Like, don't be afraid, basically. Then you have a brown energy, which is about communicating. Like, they communicate through your thoughts. Earthy. Um, they're very, like, loyal to you. Um, they're very stable. They have a lot of... They care a lot about, like, earth and all that. Um, they represent a bat, like, really strong intuition. They can see it in the dark, you know. But they communicate... Um, or they're working with you with your communication and your vision and trying to get you to see like the illusions that are around you, like using that like stealth mode, you know what I mean? Like and and showing you and trying to teach you like things that are around you because I don't think that you guys are aware of certain things, but I don't think you have anything to worry about. They're just trying to get you to pay attention. Um, this is death and rebirth. This is a transition. So I feel like this, this guy stepped in now because they're leveling up to get you through this transition and they want to encourage you to rely on your own intelligence and have patience in the divine plan for your life. You have been through a lot of pain. I can feel it. It's really strong. Um, your solar, um, plexus is, you know, it needs some work. And I just think that, um, some of you guys actually might need to have that looked at but I think that there's an expectation you have for yourself or your life or how things should be and that's not kind of in the in the time like that we're at right now because things are changing at such a rapid pace they want to get you to transition so that you're upgrading and you're not you know you know that movie where the person's in purgatory and he keeps running up the same set of stairs over and over and over and over and he doesn't get anywhere like they don't want you to keep doing that they're trying to get you to upgrade and like hustle because you're kind of like you're fighting it and it's not the time to do that kind of thing if you're catching my drift um, they're trying to teach you you know um but they want you to be brave they want you to um figure it out basically like you have everything that you need to do you know and you will be successful but you need to understand there's a plan for your life and if you're stalled you're not seeing something you're still holding on to something and they don't you can't take that stuff with you you know um you have to let it go and that's not easy to do and i'm not saying let it go you know what i mean but there's some things you can't see and that's the reason why you have to let them go and as hard as it might seem at the time, it's really only for your benefit so that you can upgrade in your consciousness and move forward with your life. Because that's genuinely what you want to do, but not in the way that you had planned. All right. Um, I see patience more than once. So this is a really slow moving um, thing here. Some of you guys look at the leprechaun smoking a pipe some of y'all are smokers this so the guide on the side wants you to um do more meditating and stop fighting with people because you're kind of like you keep putting yourself in really dangerous situations and you come out ahead but at the same time it's like you don't have any sense of like inner peace and um like you're superior but at what cost, you know, uh, because it's like, if you don't stop doing this, then it's going to keep happening. And it's just going to be like a battle the rest of your life. And if you're down to be Thor, then I mean, what am I going to say? You know, but at the same time, like everything you do comes back. And there, you, I just think that like, you're at a conflict with your within yourself. And this could even be the left brain and right brain. This is maybe you're trying to reconnect the, um, the, the dots, <laughs> because I think that a lot of us have been in the reptilian brain and that's about survival and blah 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 the best man wins but in order to upgrade our consciousness we have to reconnect the, the parts of our brain and even just visualizing it can help where we're we're using all the parts of our brain again and planning things and and learning like you know maybe even what is it called juggling but throwing a ball up, like using both your arms, like, you know, what is it called? Like ambidextrous. So that could help you, um, use both sides. Um, but also there's meditation here. It's about being outside. It's about calming, having that inner peace because you're going to have so many things in life that are going to be thrown at you, whether it's a test, whether it's whatever. And 
this energy doesn't end well for you and you can just die out and complete the and come back and do this this cycle again but i think that you've done this so much it's like this they don't mind i don't it's not like they they're like you know they're mad about it but it's just like they you know better but at the same time you this is how you've always been and i don't think you're catching on to the fact that you're not expanding and you're not getting this abundance that you want for your life because there's something here where you've been this way for so long and you've been at war with yourself and it's just like the confidence and the um the nurturing maybe it's hard for you to to let people care about you for some of you guys um you have the experience it's just some of the decisions that you make the choices isn't bringing about the right changes for your life it's keeping you chained to the same things and in these situations where you're barely dodging you know and then your mental health is affected because um that's what you're doing i don't it's like you're not maybe it's not taking care of your mental health or maybe it's not using can you go i'm busy okay i'm not right now but this is about gaining your independence this is about understanding what kind of position that you're in and acting at the right time but understanding like in this moment what this is and not reacting in the same way um with change here gift thoughts pathway um there are some things within yourself especially ha having to deal with emotions this this guide is um, trying to get you to see that this armor that you wear, which this someone's really funny, but like he's look at how he's suited up and he's like on his horse, like you know what I mean. But this is uh, the Page of Cups, so it's just like he's not really showing his emotions, and and you're not really seeing the things within yourself or or connecting like with meditation. You're not you're not able to see those things, and so they want you to. Um, change it up a little bit go in a new direction and you have these gifts so whether it's i think it's a spiritual gift so like more than one um i think it's um i think it's going to surprise you about like kind of how strong you are but it's some of you guys are artists whether what kind of artist you are i think that there's something that you could do to maybe relieve stress or um change the direction of your life to kind of get your personal power back so that you can kind of hi-ho, hi-ho back to over here to these pentacles that you're trying to get at the end of the rainbow, you know, and not staying stuck in this energy because you're really, some of you guys are really being manipulated and you have like people around you that aren't really good and um, you need to free yourself from that so that you can think for yourself so that you can um, understand some people are really fucking snaky around you. But at the same time, like, they make you look bad or vice versa. Like, um, you don't really have the, the vision about this. And I think that, you know, there could be some childhood stuff here and I don't want to keep saying that but if we don't have people in our life that build us up or or show emotion or we don't then we grow up that way I'm living proof you know I think I'm basically like I'm not throwing shade but you know how autistic people like they don't really have emotions like I have emotions I just don't know how to show them you know so I feel like you have them it's just you don't know a lot about it or you don't really like you don't trust them like you don't trust your own you don't trust yourself you know and so maybe people don't trust you or it's just continuously like it's just time to do some healing it's time to 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 find a solution to these same fights that you have with the same people and be happy because if you want to manifest abundance and you want that things to go in your favor then you have to be adaptable and try something new some of you guys are very intelligent people um, this guide is gold. It's uh, representing like spirituality, compassion, prosperity, wisdom. 
it's represented by a cow and a lion. It's the feminine energy. And I think that someone had a situation where maybe they didn't have the the relationship with their mom. And I can, I can understand that because I didn't either. But then we kind of have that part of ourselves that we don't accept. And whether or not we know it most of the time, I don't think we really know. But subconsciously that that family that we want and that loyalty and that you know going on dates and taking care of each other like that energy can't come in or like even happen it's just going to be like this because you're not really doing it either you know but I think that can't we get to a point in our lives like somebody if you're grown enough to talk about it like Maybe you're not the greatest at expressing it, but you still have them. You know, does, does the people in your life know that, though? Um, you, like, play it off, I feel like. But this is the feminine energy. And she's not afraid. Like, she, like, <laughs> is superior almost. Like, this is something you don't want to mess with. And so she's talking to you, and she's trying to get you to see, but it's like you don't really believe it. You know, you kind of like, eh, flick the bug. You know what I mean? I can do this myself. <laughs> You know, um, this person cares a lot about you and, um, like this person's a, like a friend or, um, part of the plan for your life. And I just think that it has a lot to do with your heart, but this is a teacher. Um, they trying to teach you love and compassion, cause and effect, communication, intuition, listening <laughs> to your strengths and your weaknesses, accepting both sides. It's not like failure isn't an option, you know, it's just learning from them. And the more you learn, then the more intelligence you have. So you should have the confidence in yourself at that point. You should be um, not afraid to, to show that courage, like be the boss, you know. But I think that it says you have the wisdom to make it through every endeavor, but it's just, and I think some of you guys have spent a lot of time healing. I think that um, there's just something here when it comes to emotions and female figures in your life. Maybe someone passed away. This could be someone you lost. Um, I just feel like, and protective, holy shit. <laughs> but someone could have had surgery or someone could have taken care of you. Um, someone who has like a, she doesn't really come off like, like she would fight with you if she had to, you know what I mean? Like she wouldn't agree with you, but at the same time, like she's a gentle figure, like who doesn't really make a lot of noise, but the, the energy's there, the love is there. And she just kind of like gently shows you the way because she knows what you've been through and she knows why you are the way that you are. But it's just paying attention to what your the thoughts you have about certain things or that that little inner voice that we all have, you know. Um, this also on this side for this guy, this person is someone that you channel. Uh, moon energy. They want they're trying to get you to activate your like the love and mind part of your intelligence, your personal power. It says never give up. Divine plan endeavors. This could be cats or birds in your life. Um, something to do with social media and family. I think that there's like a, things that you're unaware of here. But at the same time, some of you guys, maybe you ha um, have a following on social media. Or maybe you should put your stuff on social media if you're a painter. But um, some of you guys are really talented. And it says this one. This one says, I try to make you laugh. Loosen up and see a brighter day. This, and then it says smile. Um because I think that maybe you just forgot who you were. Like, I don't see these guides as someone who's, like, superior to you. I feel like they're people that you are on your level. And they're just kind of with you. And they're trying to get you to see things in a non-threatening way, you know. Um, and keep you safe from harm. Because I think that some of you guys avoided um, an attack or something and you didn't even know because they kind of diverted if you're like if you're on your way somewhere and you forget your keys or you forget something or you end up having to stop and get gas or little things like that those are all part of it because you're like you have no idea what they're 
um, helping you avoid. Uh, some of them have been with you since you were 7, 14. Some of you guys since you were 2. And some of you guys, that's when you had a split in your personality where you've had more than one personality, which usually we know how that happens, right? But I don't think that this is something that you've explored, but I just feel like there's something that's there. And it's like almost like a sibling. So it's like, it says unclear thinking because I don't think you're able to bring the personalities back in and make them whole. You're just like aware that there's more than one kind of thing. And um, you know that they're there for you kind of. And like you can talk to them, but you don't have your individuality. You have three different aspects. And it's common in, in more than one diagnosed thing. But the reason that like maybe this is a, a family, like this is who you consider your family. I don't know. It's just kind of like something that's never really been solved almost. And it's time to like take your own power back to be your own individual person. And you can incorporate the different aspects of your personality, but it doesn't have to be three separate things where you're not able to, um, ex I don't want to say accept, but it's just like bring them all together, you know, so that it's not a split. So you're not different people all the time. If that makes any sense. I'm not a psychologist, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. You have the ink pot. It says problems to be resolved. Pile four. Did I say that? Okay. Some of you guys are... So, I think that there was a grandfather energy, could be grandparents that passed on, but there was something that was, okay, this is weird, there was something that was stolen from them, maybe after they passed away, or something like that, but I just feel like, or maybe you just feel like there was something that was done that maybe you're unaware of, or maybe you don't know that this, how much money this, these your grandparents had like did you not get the money you were meant to get from them like I feel like you got a little bit of it or something maybe a business or this is like an inheritance energy but I just feel like you lost them maybe someone had a heart attack and you were little for one of them seven there's four sevens this is all I don't think it was the person you thought it was either. I don't know. There's this woman here that it's looks it's like she looks like she's part of the family, but she's not. She stole something from your family, and there was supposed to be a lot more. And then this of like this defensive energy, and she like puts on a show like she's crying, but in reality, like she's like killing that little thing, you know. There's a chaotic situation here, and I don't think... Like, whoever passed away is trying to tell you that what really happened, that you didn't lose this or that they didn't lose it. It says, choose wisely. Oof. This is definitely some grandparent energy. Who you have children with, who you communicate with, um, who you let in your energy field. Because you have so many, especially spiritual energy, you have so many different options, but don't listen to everyone's opinion about things. Especially some of you guys have kids with somebody who's a fucking snake, and then they like siphon out your power, kind of like an energy vampire. They're like the shadow energy, Sagittarius for somebody. Yeah, here's old grandma and grandpa. These people worked a lot. They worked really hard for what they had. And they they weren't always rich. Maybe they came from it. But at the end of this, like, you know, I feel like this was supposed to be you. You were supposed to have this wealth from this family because they worked for it. But in reality, like, you've had to work really hard and you've been really broke or something like that, like, because of a choice or something that happened. But it's just, like, they're watching. Like, I feel like these people have never left. <laughs> and they're trying to get you to, to t put on this lion suit all the way. And um, 
There's a letter in a desk, if there's a, a desk somewhere with a lamp on it. There's a letter that would probably explain this more, but something was moved or there's something that is further away than originally. I keep seeing a map, like I don't know. Um, what do people put money like offshore? Is that what it's called? <laughs> Swiss bank account, I don't know, where they put money in a, in a faraway place um, so that it can't be tracked or traced. Um, because those were blessings meant for your life. You were meant to have this um, fortune. Um, some of you guys, it could be a Libra or a Cancer. Um, someone definitely died, but it was like they lied about it. Someone's lying about it. And they put it somewhere. And um, they're really manipulative. Like, they literally waited for someone to die, and then they took this stuff without anyone knowing, and... These people are pissed. <laughs> like, they don't... They're really mad because they trusted this person or something like that. They thought this was someone that was, like, in their family, you know? Um... They try to communicate to you in your dreams, so paying attention to that. Um, they want you to be brave and have courage and understand that you have to communicate for them because they're not here anymore. But that's this abundance is yours. And um, they're protecting you or they're always around you. They want you to heal your emotions. The one side is yellow energy, so sacral. This is about, yes, always around. Um, they want you to use your wisdom and your brain to tap into your intuition more and, and your sensitive side, but also grow in the giving and receiving. So not being so protective, letting people, you know, going through this transition, finishing this transition for one, so that you can be successful in your business. It says you are free to embrace new changes and come out of your shell. You have great personal power and have cleared karma. So if that's what you're worried about, it's like they're giving you the green light. This is a mother energy, uh, violet energy, cow, like um, protective, you know. Um, she knows a lot of things. Maybe she taught you things as a child. Um, very strong person, very honest, very loyal. These are good people, and they're like, they're telling you just don't give up. Never give up on something that you love that you, you you're, you're inspirational to people, that you're creative, um, you just don't know, you, you know, and you're also very spiritual. It says, choose optimism. There's always options when you're stressed. More will be answered at the time. So they have something that they're just going to be revealing this story or plot to you a little bit at a time because maybe it would be too, too much to put on you at once. They're saying, stay strong. This is your legacy. Um, some of you guys are like magician, like uh, masons. You know what I mean? Choose happiness, choose optimism, no matter what. Even if you're standing alone, even if you don't see the success, you know, speaking that out there because you have the wisdom. Um, you just have to ground that energy in the 3D probably and make these decisions, the, the big plan. And and just know that like they kind of have you covered and they're like around you, but you weren't meant to live your life this way ever. So just know that you know, they're teaching you certain things to kind of like unlock the next door <laughs> to, to get this, these things for you. But it's just, you don't really know that you don't understand. You don't, um, maybe it's hard to have patience because I think it's like almost a surprise that they're going to give you, but it's like that friendly and gentle side that you have, that social side, you know, where you can adapt and you can, and try different things and kind of like um, that balance, that harmony, like the happy, like smiling and having fun again, like using the things that you love to do, but in a way where you're happy, that's just, that's all they want for you. And they feel like a part of you isn't like that anymore. And they don't, they're very, like, they're very attentive to your energy and very protective. And they're, you know, they are trying to encourage you, but it's like, they want to like back off and let you do things on your own, but they want you to tell them like maybe what you're doing or just talk to them because um, 
They want you to have freedom in your in your life, in your heart, in your soul, whatever's weighing you down, whatever emotions that you don't talk about, you know, everything that you've been through and just know that you'll be successful and that it's okay to open up your heart and express your emotions. It's okay to um, admit that maybe you have health problems or it's okay to, to um, have compassion and forgiveness and just never give up, you know, but pay attention to certain things. Um, for some of you guys, it's your solar plexus. For some of you guys, it's um, a house that someone could have been in. There was something in the house that made someone sick. Uh, maybe there's a house that you were supposed to get. I'm not really sure, but um, they think of you all the time and they just want you to know, like, maybe you don't respond to them, but they're just kind of like, they're always around, you know. And they don't want you to work your life away like this. And they don't want you to worry about anything. Um, but at the same time, like, there's going to be a time where you're going to need to go and do, retrieve whatever this is, I think. And um, you're just going to know when to do that at that time. So maybe things are slow moving right now, but there's a bigger picture here that you're unaware of, I think. And... More, a lot more like wealth is here it's just a completion of old things first kind of thing like finishing your shadow work um, making the right choices you know using your power in not a way where it's overbearing but in a playful way you don't have to be like Rah! you know what I mean <laughs> it's a balance so that it doesn't get used in the wrong way if that makes any sense so you can resolve the problems in your life. So anyways, I hope this helps you guys out. I hope that you have a wonderful night. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the about section or the comments, I think, or the, the description. And there's more information on how to do that. Bye.